Greetings, everyone. Well, picked up a package from the post office today. A very lightweight package. Uh, Rosie was actually quite amused by how lightweight it was. <laughs> now, Rose is not here for this particular package opening because this is actually just something for me. Um, actually, a belated uh, kind of Christmas gift from Ryan Chataway. Yes, the man behind many a movie marathon and just lover of movies in general. Anyway, uh, just on a whim, he said he wanted to send me something, uh, um, sort of as a belated Christmas gift, and, uh, well, who am I to say no to free stuff, right? So, anyway, it finally arrived. I actually got the package notice yesterday, but it was, uh, weren't able to go and pick it up right away. Had to wait till today, so the waiting is over. It is in my hands, and we're going to check it out today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Okay, so no idea where my package opener box cutter device has gone, so uh, we're using the old uh, pink-handled scissors here. I guess, actually, they're kind of flesh-colored. Flesh-colored scissors. So we'll use the flesh, the flesh cutters, <laughs> which they uh, could. So I'm wondering, like, did he just send me a box of... Uh, of air or or bubble wrap or I don't know is, is it I, I don't know if this is a joke gift or a serious gift uh, he gave me no hints he did send me an email uh, because he said he forgot to include a gift message in it so uh, he sent me an email with the messageness on it so let's see what we got here so we got a box of paper and we have oh oh sweet okay yeah i know i know this one i remember him telling me about this and uh he talked about this one quite a bit on uh his recent silent movie marathon okay joke gift this is not this is some serious cinema here folks we have the silent film classic sunrise yeah uh, if you want to see Ryan just gushing about this movie, go check out his recent silent movie marathon. And he talks about this one uh, quite a bit. Uh, wow, this is really cool. I remember when I saw that in his video and just some of the brief uh, you know, clips he, th he showed and some of the things he said about it uh, made me really want to check it out. Um, and I've been saying to him for a while... Uh, I really want to get more silent films in my collection because I, I've only seen a few uh, over the years and I've always really enjoyed them. Uh, you know, the old, mostly, most of the ones I've seen here, like the old sort of sci-fi and uh, horror stuff, like a lot of the old George Melier uh, shorts where, you know, he did some crazy effects like the first trip to the moon and stuff like that. Um, and of course, Metropolis, which I did a big video about a while back. And, uh, you know, the old Phantom of the Opera with Juan Chaney. Um, some of my, actually some of my all-time favorite films are, are, are silent films such as, uh, well, um, <clears throat> uh, Phantom of the Opera being one just for the beautiful visuals in that and the, you know, amazing makeup effects by Lon Chaney, but also another one, probably my all-time favorite actually would be, uh, uh, well, Nosferatu, of course, followed very closely by The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, which is just, uh, amazing visuals in that, and, uh, yeah, and then another one I saw a little while ago was uh, the Gol the Golem, which is another really good one as well. But uh, yeah, so I I've been wanting to check this one out ever since uh, Ryan gushed about it in his uh, videos recently. Let's let's just quickly uh, unbox it. Yeah, I won't I won't uh, sully this fine bit of uh, cinematic giftage with with a rant. So I figure out how to open the damn thing. Open, damn it, open! Quote from not a silent film. <laughs> Bonus points if you know where that clip is from. Or that quote. Alright, let's open this up. This is from 20th Century Fox Studio Classics. Unusual to see such a classy release from Fox these days. Man, I don't know, it's like Fox like, like has had some exemplary cinema over the years. But... 
why is their TV channel so trashy? You know, like it really is trashy. I just don't get it because they they've had like their cinema has always been amazing. They've done some fantastic. Some they got Fox Searchlight Pictures, you know, um, helping to fund and distribute independent films and stuff. Uh, you know, they do good stuff for the world of film. So I just don't get why their TV is so freaking trashy. But uh, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't, I, I I just don't get it. So I'm just gonna uh, take the stickiness off there. Come on. Bunch of gloop stuck to the Blu-ray logo on the front here. Just give me a moment here. I'll get it. I'll get it. Yeah, I think I got it. All right, so it's unboxed. And as you can see, it looks completely different with the saran wrap off. <laughs> Let's open this bad boy up. Oh, here we go. Some amazing... Oh, wow. We even got a... Uh... We got a we got a flipper disc here. Got a flipper disc. Flipper disc. Flipper disc here. See, nobody cares. Uh, so anyway, we got a flipper disc here. We got uh, the Blu-ray as well, of course. I'm guessing the flipper disc is a uh, a uh, DVD. So we've got uh, side A sunrise movie tone version and side B flip side sunrise European silent version. Oh, that's interesting. So there's uh, like three versions of the movie on here. That's pretty cool. So we'll just take a quick look on the back here. Uh, I have Saran up on me. <clears throat> so this story of betrayal... Hold it. It's static to my finger. Hold on. Best way to get rid of static is actually lick your finger. And it basically shorts out the static. So there you go. Yeah, that worked well as... <sighs> Are you off me now? Fucking, oh my god, there's another piece on me now. Where is, it's just, it's, it's multiplying. Wow, fail. Like, I swear, that usually works with saran wrap. And there goes the Blu-ray again. Just get off my fucking hands. Okay, we're good. <sighs> <clears throat> this story of betrayal and redemption earned Oscars at the first Academy Awards. All caps. Ceremony in 1929. Oh, that's when the first one was. I actually did not know that. Uh, for the most unique and artistic picture. Best Actress, Janet Gaynor, and Best cinemat Cinematography. The love and loyalty of a farmer and his wife are put to the ultimate test in this classic silent film. Well, we, it doesn't really tell us much about it other than it's uh, the story of a farmer, love, loyalty... Betrayal and redemption. There you go. So just the full spectrum of emotion there, folks. Um, so let's see what we got here. So disc one. Oh, it's the same on both discs. Never mind. It's just the DVD version and the Blu-ray version. So there's two versions of the movie. So we got the Fox movie tone version and the European silent version. So it looks like the movie tone version is longer. It's 94 minutes. The European version is 79 and uh, also different aspect ratios. I noticed the Fox Movie Tone version is 1.20 to 1. It's an unusual aspect ratio. And then the uh, European version is 1.33 to 1, which would be 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Interesting. Well, thank you very, very much, Ryan. I know, I know, without even reading your letter, I know this is one of your all-time favorite silent films, and, and I'm absolutely honored that you have given this to me to share your love of this film and uh i, I will definitely be watching this and uh and maybe do a review one of these years yes <laughs> i'll probably do something because uh, that's just the right thing to do so thank you very very much uh this will definitely be a prized part of my very slowly growing uh silent film collection well let's head over to the computer and uh, we'll check out uh, Ryan's letter that he sent me to accompany the Blu-ray. Okay, here we go. So this is Ryan's letter. He sent it to me... Uh, when did he send it to me? Yesterday, actually. Yesterday. Because he was tracking the package as it was being uh, sent. So he knew that it was going to arrive imminently. Alright, here we go. I will read it verbatim, including any grammatical or typographical errors. Here we go. 
from Ryan the Cinephile Chataway. Sean, over the past few months, you have mentioned countless times that you have been wanting to expand a certain in your collection. Yes, I have been wanting to expand a certain in my collection. Well, this is a perfect film to do just that. This film is a true masterpiece. It is one of the few films that have literally made me laugh, let loose some tears, and be completely on the edge of my seat. Also, is contains some of the greatest acting in cinema history. It is a true masterwork, and it is also the winner of the Best Artistic Picture Oscar, which was a one-time award given at the first Oscar. So the one and only recipient of that Oscar, apparently. That's interesting. I hope you are moved by this film as much as I was. Enjoy. Keep up the great work. Ryan, sent from my iPhone. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, basically, uh, just about uh, everything I said, I, I knew that he knew, and I, I know that he knew that I knew, and that was awesome. Uh, so yes, um, all joking aside, uh, seriously, thank you so much, uh, Ryan. I really, really appreciate that. Everybody go check out his page. If you're a, a film fan as much as uh, myself and and my compadres are, uh, you really should check out Ryan's channel because he does so much stuff about... Uh, he calls it Ryan's Cinematic Obsession. That should say it all right there. And uh, he is someone who truly, truly, passionately appreciates the art and craft of film and just the 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 emotional power of film as well and just uh its power to move us and to make us feel things and to take us on a journey you know uh he's just a great guy uh with a great youtube channel you should definitely check it out you'll find the link in the description for this very video that you are watching now uh, so quick thank you to my Patreon sponsors as well. Special big thanks to Kimberly Harmon and Kyle Pellegree, my two highest level sponsors. Thank you very, very much. And uh, yeah, Patreon helps make the magic happen. So thanks very much for the support, everyone who is supporting me. And, and thank you for supporting me by just watching my stuff. Appreciate it. All right, that is it for me to you for now. So until next time, thanks for watching and sayonara. scenes unscrewing the thingy see this is the thingy that goes on the bottom of the camera so it can attach to my tripod oh you don't want to see my mess all right so we're gonna take the microphone as well and the microphone is caught damn it hold on tripod the sticks as Rosie calls it I'm screwing in the sticks look up my nose right. no. oh fuck's sake everything is caught on everything else like everything get out of the way and be where I need you to be Okay. Ah, fuck! What am I stepping on? <sighs> okay. Ah. Do it this way. Angle up a little bit. Uh, let's 
see any tree over there, are we? Oh, we are. There's the tree. And I'm blocking it with the chair. Great. <coughs> okay. To Hotmail. To the Hotmail Mobile. Alright, here we go. So who's going to find Ryan's letter? Wow, has it gone to the second page already? Let's uh, go over here. Okay, here we go.